Hello and welcome to a channel update for 2020. If you have not seen one of these before, this is your opportunity to give criticism, feedback, comments, all that sort of stuff, because this is me telling you what's going to be happening on a channel in the future, and this is your chance to guide it. It's your chance to tell me, hey, I don't like any of what you've suggested. How about you do this instead? And I like that kind of feedback where if you say, I don't like this, please tell me what you do like because that way I can focus things. I can say, okay, I've said that all I'm gonna be doing is playing Barbie Horse Adventure, and you've said, actually, I don't like that, but have you considered playing this type of Crusader King series? Or have you considered playing some Stellaris, or, you know, anything like that? Or have you considered playing a fantastic game from long ago that you've never played before? You know, all that sort of stuff, that's great. Or, actually, I don't like uh, this length of episode. I would prefer this length. You know, I don't like 30 minute episodes. I would prefer 15 minutes. Or, I really hate 15 minute episodes. Give me an hour long episodes. That's great um, for me to kind of see and for me to understand what you're thinking at this moment. So, that's kind of the purpose of this. The purpose of this is also so I can explain why videos have been a little inconsistent lately. By a little, I mean a lot inconsistent. And there's a good reason for that. Basically, I have a new job. Well, I haven't started a new job, but I'm about to have a new job. And I'm about to move um, flat. So all of that basically means there's a ton of stuff I needed to do, which wasn't recording videos. Um, it was also January, which meant I also had to spend a day, well, not a day, but a chunk of time which would otherwise be spent doing video, doing taxes, which was more troublesome than it should have been, um, mainly because I forgot my password. But anyway, I digress. Um, we have uh, some things going on outside the channel, which is affecting the channel. Should be done by mid-February, but there is always the chance that I don't have internet in the new place, which would then make some of these troubles extend a little bit further, but you know, I'll try and cushion that a little bit. So, what's going on with the channel itself? Well, we have four series on. We did have five series at one point. Five was a little much. Um, Disco Elysium was a bit of a surprise in terms of me doing the series, because I didn't know it existed until the day I started recording it, because I saw it and I thought, I have to play this. It's amazing. And it was. It was so good, it made Outer Worlds look bad, because the writing in it was just so much better. And I, you know, there was this kind of disappointment when I turned on Outer Worlds. I think it was the day after I just um, put up the first Disco Elysium episode, because I played Outer Worlds and I was just like, this is just not as good. The wacky characters weren't as wacky and fun. The serious dialogue wasn't as deep and meaningful. The interactions between the characters felt more stale and wooden and I was just like it, it could just be better I mean the mechanical bit of Outer Worlds is really good as a mechanical game no bit can be faulted it just didn't quite have everything I wanted it to have as I said I think I said it at the end of that series the game is like an 8 in terms of if you had to score it like it's an 8 a 9 it's around that level but it needed to be a 9 or a t like, it needed to be a solid 9-10 in that group, because it's, that was what I was expecting, and because the expectations would, just didn't match up with reality, it just felt that much worse. I don't know if that makes sense, but anyway. But yeah, five series as well, a little too much to record at once. It's, um, probably best if I do it in the future if I backlog a series, and that probably means that I need to see when games are coming out and plan ahead, rather than just start recording them when they come out, whenever they come out. You know, that's what's going to become more relevant as this year goes on, as there may be certain games that are coming out that I may or may not want to play, like Crusader Kings 3, or like, um, try to think what else is coming out this year, Cyberpunk. You know, that sort of thing. Might want to just plan ahead a little bit. That's, that's for me to work out, but yeah, there's a few things like that I'm looking at. Maybe Mountain Blade as well. I was trying to think of other things that are coming out. Mountain Blade, maybe Final Fantasy, like the Final Fantasy 7. 
um, remake. I uh, haven't played any Final Fantasy, so that could be cool. But I haven't played any. I mean, I played about an hour of 10, and I played about 10 hours of Final Fantasy 14. So that could be cool. Yeah. Um, so we could try that. Um, try to think what else is coming out this year. There's definitely more coming out this year, but I can't remember. There might be Persona 5 coming to a console that I can actually play it on at some point. That could be cool. I don't know whether that's um, something that's happening soonish or not. Um, I think, yeah, there are many other things that are coming out that I'm interested in. There's probably going to be more as the as the uh, year goes on as well, but I just don't know about because I just haven't looked it up yet. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff that we could play. Anyway, what's on the channel right now is two lots of Crusader Kings. There's also Baldur's Gate, and there's Fire Emblem. Crusader Kings 2, I've been thinking about it. I'm not sure I want to continue doing two series of it right now. It's a little bit... I don't know. It might just be because they're both slogging a little... Well, one is actually going a lot quicker. But they were, for a while, both kind of slogging around about the same size of nation, about the same problems in terms of expansion, you know. It, they, were, they were both kind of slogging. They both sped up as well now, but... I'm wondering whether I want to just narrow it down to one episode of Crusader Kings uh, 2 and then expand back outwards when Crusader Kings 3 happens. Possibly. It could be cool. Um, I think what if I was going to do that, I would probably... Hmm. I don't know. I would probably switch to another Paradox game, but we could play something like City Skylines or we could play all sorts of things. Or I just cut it entirely and just stream, which is something I've been thinking about. Streaming would be something that I want, well, streaming is something that I want to do this year because um, Paradox have been, on their Twitter at least, have been very much more about streaming. Or by that I mean there was an opportunity where they were like, hey, we're looking for content creators to look at this cool new thing. I don't know what the cool new thing is. It never happened. Uh, like, it never happened for me because uh, they said, we want streamers. And I'm like, okay, that's cool. I'm not a streamer. But for Crusader Kings 3, I'm wondering whether they're going to do the same thing. And if I could get the streaming started before that comes out, that could be cool. That's something that I'm very interested in doing. So streaming is something that's higher. It's kind of jumped up on the priority list a little bit. So we could try that out. We could try that out a little bit. Maybe what I do is we do one Crusader Kings series, which is just the vanilla game, no mods or some, and we just have that as the main series on the channel. And then maybe I do like modded Crusader Kings as a stream, or like we just play a different mod, play it till we get bored, drop it, something like that. Just try it out. I don't know. Could do that. Could have multiple streams a week where we do some different things. I haven't really considered it yet. If you have any ideas for what you'd like to see in that, that is the kind of feedback that would be brilliant. Or if you don't want to see it at all, also interesting feedback. Um, Baldur's Gate, another series on the channel. Baldur's Gate is a game I never got around to playing because uh, I didn't really get into PC gaming until... Well, I have no idea of years. Time has become a concept in terms of years that I have no idea. Uh, of right now, but um, Baldur's Gate was basically something that skipped me by. I basically started playing RPGs from, let's say, Bioware RPGs from KOTOR onwards, so I never went back and looked at their previous back catalogue or anything like that, so yeah, it's been interesting seeing what was brought forward from that game and what was ditched. It's a very odd mixture of stuff that was brought forward and mixed, and there was some stuff in the game that I'm like, that's a cool concept. If there was a game that did that better, I would be interested in trying it. Like, they've got a journal system where you can write down a journal and you can have, like, full notes of things that have happened. You basically make your own notes of the game as it goes along. And I think that could be really cool in a game that's a little bit more open. By that I mean, like, a detective-style game where you can take your own notes could be really, really cool. So they bring forward characters that from a while back or like clues you read your own notes you work out where things are going based on those notes that could be a cool sort of game 
It doesn't seem like Baldur's Gate opens up to that, but maybe in the future it has more of those kind of quests, I don't know. I don't know how the game progresses, but they've got systems like that which seem really interesting. And I'm intrigued to see how deep they are and how much they impact gameplay, or whether it's like, actually the main gameplay is just select all your characters, right click on the enemy until they die. You know, I don't know. It's it's intriguing watch uh, kind of looking at older games and seeing how they how they go basically and, and how they're put together. It's also amazing quite how many companions are in that game. There's like oh, 20 or something companions on the companion list. It's insane. Like it, it really is ruining my uh, completionist collects all the companions into one group and do all of their companion quest thing. Especially as some of the companion quests deliberately um, conflict with other companion quests. Um, apparently the way you were meant to play the game, which if I'd gone into it with this mentality at the start might have been better, is the way the designers want you to do it is you go into the game, you have your companions, you do their quest and then you just go like, hey, I've done your quest, see you later, I'm picking up the next companion. or hey, I don't like this companion, he's not the same alignment as me, I'm just going to chuck him out and just grab a new one. And that was the way you were meant to play the game, in the apparently, according to what I've read. And the idea is, as you went through the game, you'd pick up new companions, you'd get some favourites, they'd stay in your party, you'd ditch others, and then eventually by the end of the game you'd have a party of some set of companions. And your companions level up to your level when you collect them, so you were meant to, like, use them until you ditch them and then not bring them back again later. Or some companions would have a timed quest and then if you didn't meet their timer they'd go away and you'd have to get a new person and anyway. All sorts of stuff but yeah it's been an intriguing experience. And Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is the last series on the channel. It is so good. It just keeps being good. I think I've got 180, 190 hours in that so far. It's amazing. Um, minus the fishing minigame, but you know, not if it was perfect, you know, maybe it's good it has a flaw. You know that kind of, was it, the Persian rug thing, uh, where they deliberately put a flaw in everything, you know, maybe it's something like that, I don't know. Uh, anyway, Fire Emblem, I love it, it's great, and uh, it's basically just... Everything fits perfectly into one episode, is the nice thing about it, for one, from recording standpoint. Like, you do one week, and that is one episode. It, it's very nice and contained, or you do like one mission, that's one episode. Occasionally, missions might take three hours and over two episodes, but that's only when the game really, really screws you with one crit at the end of something. But we're not going to talk about that, because the, 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 those memories are too fresh. But. Fire Emblem is great. We've got about another... I'm going to say another... Well, we've got about a quarter of this playthrough left, I'd say, in terms of actual time playing, because um, basically what's happened in this playthrough is for reasons the number of people we can speak to in the latter half of the game has gone down, which just naturally speeds the game up, because you're not speaking to everybody, you're not hearing their dialogue, you're not doing all of their supports, which are basically like mini cutscenes for characters, because they're just not something that's available to us in this particular route. So um, I was trying to do that as spoiler-ish as possible, hopefully I succeeded. So th this is going to be quite a quick route. Um, then we've got another two afterwards, there's some DLC, which is going to be released in February, so this month, um, which I think would we'd be doing at the start of the next route that we do, which would be Blue Lions. And then there's a last route we can do if I want to, which is the church route, which is apparently quite similar to some we've already done. But it could be cool to do like one last um, kind of hurrah, recruit all the c companions that we, l we like the most, something like that, and do some, do some uh, fun stuff there. Anyway, it's also got nice music, as you can hear in the background of this. This is just the nice calm monastery theme from it, which I thought would be good to talk over. Oh yeah, should also mention that the channel update doesn't usually look this um, bad. I did have some hard drive crashes at the end of last year, which I think I mentioned at some point in one of the videos, 
but they didn't have any major impact on the channel, apart from the fact that all the channel art stuff that I'd made has disappeared. Um, so some of that stuff isn't really here for the channel update, so yeah, that's minorly bad. Uh, I still have the hard drives, I could try running them again, it's just I haven't got around to fixing it. There have been other things that have been on my mind. Anyway, um, so this is why we kind of look like it does. Also my subscription to Todoist ran out, so couldn't do it on that either. So, this is what we got. So, thank you for watching. Hopefully you have an idea of what's going on in the channel in the future. Um, if you have anything that you want, any games that are coming out this year, please tell me if you want me to play them. because. Or tell me if you see anything that's cool, because that is the kind of thing I'm really looking for. Um, if you have anything that you want in particular, like if there's anything in the channel that's really bugging you, like you keep doing this thing and I'm going to keep watching, but this thing just bugs the hell out of me. That would be a good thing to tell me, because otherwise I'm going to keep doing it. I'm just going to tell you if, you, if you don't tell me something's happening, I'm just going to keep doing it. Same with every series, actually. If you're watching a series and you don't like it, tell, tell me. Tell, tell me what you don't like about it. But try and give feedback where you say, I don't like this. How about this instead? Or I don't like this. Have you tried X? You know, try and offer something with your something, if you know what I mean. Like, say, I don't like, but I would prefer, you know, that's, that's the kind of way I'd like feedback, because then I can act on it. If you just say, I don't like this, all that gives me is one point. It says, this person does not say, if you say, for instance, I don't like Crusader Kings, right? All you've told me is, one person does not like Crusader Kings. If you say, I don't like Crusader Kings because um, I don't particularly like watching you play strategy games, but there is actually some a strategy game that I really like, or something that's got a bit of strategy in it that I really like that you could try, or here's a story game that I think you would really like, that would be, or like an RPG or, you know, any of that sort of stuff. If that's something, yeah, if you could provide that, or I would be, I would prefer it if you were playing this instead, that'd be cool. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I'm looking for. Anyway, thank you for watching. I will see you next time. Goodbye.